That Arizona's quest for a Pac-12 tournament title continues in Las Vegas. The Wildcats advancing to the quarterfinals after beating Washington in the first round last night. And News 4 Tucson's Jenna Fink joins us live from MGM Grand Garden Arena. And Jenna, what did this hard-fought victory over the Huskies mean for the Wildcats? Well, Sean and Monica, it means Arizona's NCAA tournament hopes are still alive. The Wildcats entered the Pac-12 tournament on the bubble, but after that Washington win, head coach Adia Barnes believes her team has done enough to get a spot in the tournament. She says her young team continues to defy the odds and hang with the top teams in the conference and the country. We start three freshmen, and we've lost half of our scoring this year. So out of 70 points, we've lost 35 points. So they're battling. They're doing, different people are stepping up at different times, and they've done a phenomenal job. And this is a very cohesive unit, has great chemistry, love for each other, and fights without the most talent, and just finds a way to get the job done. So I'm proud of them. And Arizona got the job done against Washington behind fifth year's Helena Pueyo and his Mary Martinez. They combined for 28 points, nine assists, six steals, and seven rebounds. That duo needs to bring the same defensive intensity to the quarterfinals against second seed USC. The Wildcats lost to the Trojans in double overtime last week in McHale after letting a 10-point fourth quarter lead slip away. Barnes says her team is much more confident this time around. And an upset over USC here in the Sin City would certainly be a huge boost to that NCAA tournament resume. Tip-off is coming up at 7 o'clock Arizona time, but we have much more pregame coverage coming your way right here on KVOA. Reporting live in Las Vegas, Jenna Fink, News 4 Tucson.